Hey guys, uh, today's adventure is going to take place in none other than our own bot garden. Today we are going to have a mini beast adventure. Connor, what do you think? Yeah, but there's so many of these food. See them? I can't get them all. Connor has already started his mini beast adventure, so what have you found, Conzo? Now this is a sort of habitat that there are bugs that we're trying to find today like to hide in. Nice dead rotten wood. Holly, what's your favourite bug? Caterpillar. She likes caterpillars. Right Conzo, are we ready to go on an adventure? Yeah. So we're going to hopefully find some cool instrument bugs and we can show you and talk to you all about them. Okay guys, so the first insect we found is the common woodlouse. Now these might seem pretty simple, pretty basic, you see them all over the place but they're actually quite interesting because they are not technically insects, they are members of the crab family, they are crustaceans. So they've got outer shells as you can see here and as they get bigger they do lose their shells. What sort of tools are you going to be using for your bug adventure today? This is this is called a wood breaker. It, it breaks wood. So he's got something to try and get to the wood to try and find the animal uh, insects. And he's also got a little tabby which he uses to keep his insects in, so we can have a proper good look at them. Holly, what was that you just popped in? Another little wood lice. Okay, so let's go and turn over some stones, guys, and see what we can find. Let's go. Dad, let's put this food here. Holly, where are we going to start? Over there. Come on in, let's go. Do you like our bug adventures, Holly? <laughs> this is a cool thing about a mini beast adventure, guys, is that you can literally do it anywhere you want, can't you? <laughs> now, these are Connor's favourite stones because we tend to find quite a lot of bugs in here. Look at millipede. A millipede. Show it to the camera. He's a beauty. He is a nice one. And he's curled up in a ball to protect himself, isn't he, Connor? Yeah, because he thinks I'm a predator. Mm -hmm, he sure does. But when you just leave your hand nice and flat and relax, he'll come out, won't he? And he's got two little feelers at the front which uh, he uses to move about and feel his way. Let's put him in me. And he's got loads of legs, doesn't he? Yeah. So we'll put him in his tabby. And he'll come out. And we'll show you him when he comes out. Okay, Conzo, are you going to go for another way to explore? See what else we can find? Yeah. Holly, why don't you lift some stones too? So it was raining quite heavily yesterday guys, so I'd imagine there'd be a few things to find. Dad's found some in me. What have you found? He's very tiny, see me? And Daddy. Oh, I can't see him now. See Daddy. He's got a far better eyes than I do, Conzo. See Daddy. He move in me. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look under this one. No. So this is a sort of habitat that our mini beasts like to live in, isn't it, Connor? Because there's loads of dead leaves and Dad, wood lice! Okay, so we found wood lice again. There's another one on that rock there. Like I say, this is a good thing about our adventures is that it just gets the kiddies out of the here? house and you don't have to go far, you don't have to spend any money. You can just go bug hunting. You can just go bug hunting, can't you? Yeah, but it's fun. It's so much fun. And it helps you guys learn all about the creatures that live around you. Let's have a look under this one. This was usually a good one. Uh, look at that one. Ah, a nice big juicy worm. Dad, come on. Pick him up. I'm too scared. Now, you might think, guys, that worms are very boring and very basic insects, but they're actually really cool, Connor, aren't they? Tell us a bit about worms. 
They've got mucus. They've got mucus to help them slide around. And also what happens when you put them in water? They don't drown. They don't drown, which is another cool fact. So that's how they can live oh, underground. I think he needs... Even when it's raining. And next step, I don't know if you can see guys. There is another millipede. How many legs does a millipede have, Connor? Daddy, pitch him. You want us to pick him up and put him in your box? Yeah, the giant worm. Okay. Oh. We've got him. You know a worm's head by its little collar that it's got. Dad's, Dad's joking, it feels slimy. Mm -hmm. And that is not good slime, it's called mucus. It's called mucus, exactly, Connor. Well done. That, that's what protects the. And there's little flakes that come off the worm, mucus flakes, and then that's why they dry up in the thin. I see. Very interesting, Connor. Thank you for telling us that. Let's go put him in our tubby in. He's a beauty. He's a nice one. I've got fun, Dad. It's just to make a warm, nice, oh. cosy bed. Uh, look at another millipede. Another millipede. Well, we're finding loads of millipedes today, guys. Look at another one. Now, the creature... Oh, oh sorry, That's sorry. Right. Oh, no, it's one of flowers. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Obviously, sometimes we don't find as much as we would like, but that's half the fun of exploring, as you just don't know what you're going to find. Sometimes you might find nothing, other times you might find bucketfuls of mini beasts. All different kinds, all that different shapes. Here, but this is where I've seen the giant worm the How mini beast. here, look. Dad, this is where I found a giant worm that mummy was scared of. <laughs> okay. I had to look under there already, I think, but... Nothing. How we scrape about the ground to see if there's anything hiding under it? <laughs> what about over here? Come over here. No, this is kind of a little area that we've set up. Why? What? Why did you set that up? We set it up to kind of make a bug home. So we've got somewhere for them to hide and also somewhere for us to explore. So let's have a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, he's a cute. Oh, is that a tiny little baby worm? He's cute. <laughs> he's, oh, he's so now, under here we have a few millipedes. There it goes, look. He's got his wee feelers out. Colin. Oh, he, the look. Ah, nice. We have a weevil. Let's catch him. Colin weevil. Now, I'm not 100% sure what kind of weevil that is. Hold on, let's hold it still, Colin, so everybody can see. That might be another rose weevil. We caught one of them this morning, didn't we? Come, Put them in your tub yeah, so we can have a good look at them. Now, let's have a look, see if we can see anything else. A nice wee wormy down there. A couple of little wood lice crawling the rock. Look a wood little I think that's a worm, is it? That is a mullet. It's a mullet, okay. It's on. dead. That's those look a worm. Now, Konzo is the best at finding bugs. He's got such good eyes for it, don't you, Konzo? Yeah, but you don't. <laughs> I don't know, you're right. You've got very good eyes. Okay, we're going to go check up in this greenhouse bit, because usually there's some nice itty wigs in there. Oh! We can show you one. No, the, the first time when I checked on the greenhouse, things was millipedes. Okay, let's go and have a look then, yeah? That, the last time I saw millipedes. Connor has a bad habit of calling wood, uh, not wood lice. That um, look worm! That lice. look! That look! There's a worm. Uh -huh. Same bad. Connor has a bad habit of calling Ediwig scorpions because he thinks uh, pink the pink That look a Same bad. Mm -hmm. You're such a good bug hunter, Connor. That's same. And again, this is what I love about just bug hunting with Connor. You just get so into it. 
and you've learned so much about bugs, haven't you, from just finding them, hunting them down. Haven't you, Conzo? Daddy, the fun part of worms is they lay eggs. <laughs> So I'll, they do. I'll see what they like. Okay, guys, so we're going to have a slight change of location now. See what we can find out in the front Dad, garden. You stay here and I'll get my shoes. You don't need your shoes, you'll be okay. Find out, Uncle Joe. Okay, we're going to have a look in this bush here and see what we can find. This is usually where the magpie moths like to live. Thinks he's found one. Let's go and have a look. I found one. Ah. Oh, he's flying off. Get into with him, yeah? Beautiful, beautiful one. He actually hurt his eye. The look. His eye, the look, he look. His eye hurt himself. Okay. Well, go and put him under his thing again because we always put him back. I'm going to have a good look and see what else we can I find. I put him in my tibby. So, yes, Daddy, can I put him in mm. my tibby? Yeah, you can put him in a tibby. Usually if you have a good look about here, we'll find a magpie moth caterpillar. <coughs> Konzo, can you find any caterpillars? <coughs> There's usually loads of them about. They look magpie moth. Ah. Yeah. And there is a tiny wee snail in there too, Conzo. I don't know if you can see it. I remember Puma. There's snails and bees feeding on this bush, Dad. Mm -hmm. And butterflies. Look at them. Look, look, there's millions there. Millions there, yeah. I'm looking for a caterpillar though to show everybody. And there, hiding just up in there, is a buff tail bumblebee. He's already in my tibby, Dad. The, the he must be feeding off the pollen and the food. I'll show you the butterfly. I've got two weeks. Well, this is Connor's bug so far. We've literally just been exploring for about 10 minutes. And there is a whole world of creepy crawlies and creatures in there. And obviously we always put everything back Look, exactly where we he found it. out. Look. Mm -hmm. Two, two. Right, that's plenty of butterflies. Okay, let's see if we can find a caterpillar. I found a bird. You found one? There. Where? Up ahead of the tree. Oh yeah, another There's mud pie moth. Look at Harvestman, see me? Harvestman, sure. There. Can you grab him? There. See him oh, there? fast. See him, see him. Now, this is a perfect bush for them because there's loads of dead leaves. There's the harvest one. Just, I don't know if you can see it. Now look, that snake. That, that look, a butterfly is dead. See? Uh -huh. They look. don't live very long, buddy. This is the thing. Why? And a nice example of a snail comes out. Yeah, there's bees. Show, and show us a snake. I show. put it at the end. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Out pops his little eyes and his feelers. Now the two antennas at the top are his eyes and the two at the bottom are his I'm feelers. I'm going to do a white here. Yeah, no things. Yep. Right there. Right there. Just seen a honeybee. He's hovering about here somewhere. Here he is. And he'll be looking for pollen. Oh, and there's a buff tail. He'll be looking for pollen so he can make honey and maybe he's getting some for our flowers yep maybe we will eat that honey okay guys so that was our video hopefully you enjoyed this wee adventure and there were some cool creatures that you found interesting you learned some new things about it like i say the cool thing about it is that it costs absolutely nothing kids are out of the house and you can be out there for hours and hours if you're having a good hunt and the kids are enjoying it so it passes the day it gets them off their tablets all the rest of it so like i say hopefully you enjoyed this one if you did enjoy it give it a share give it a like and if you like our channel give it a subscribe it costs absolutely nothing it just lets you know when our next movie's popping up and our next adventure's on the go so i shall see you next time guys bye bye for now